good to see you. Thank, Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. I, I just want to. I just want to make sure that you're still friends. We were always friends, Jack. I never doubted your friendship for one minute. Good, because you had it every day. I know. Sure. <laughs> well, that was an excellent dinner, I have to say. With Dimitri and Edmund? She's a con artist, and she evidently has Edmund wrapped around her little finger, and now I guess she's going after Dimitri. Oh, for a moment I thought she was this woman. Edmund was telling me about a story. He, he's uh, thinking of writing. I assumed it was for tempo. He just he wasn't sure if his source was accurate or not. Wait, though. wait, 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 wait. A story. Hmm? He plans to write a story about the worst moment of my life. Your life? That woman is claiming to be my sister, Christine. Christine? But she... she died. Yes. I don't understand. She's lying. But evidently Edmund thinks that that lie will sell magazines, so if you would excuse me. Jack, wait, wait. I should be flattered. I had no idea that my life was such a gold mine for you, Edmund. Edmund, I'm sorry. I mentioned our conversation to Jack, and I had no idea he was the subject of the story. There is no story. It's all a fraud, pure and simple. And if you so much as print one word of it, I will sue you for slander. Jack, it's not slander if it's true. What is with you? Is your life so empty with Maria gone that you would allow your head to be turned by trash like this? All right, Jack, that remark's uncalled for. I think it's a reasonable question. What's it gonna solve? Why don't we both, all of us, in fact, go back to our separate corners and count to ten? Listen, Jack, you have my word as co-editor with Edmund, and Temple would never publish a story that's not true or that's unsubstantiated. Mm. You know that. Excuse me for just a moment, Jack. Could I have a word with you? I'm really sorry. sorry. Now that we've had a few seconds to calm down... You took your DNA test, sir. Which is pointless unless we can match it with Jack's results. And you heard him. No way is he going to submit to a test. What if you didn't have to? What if we took it for him? I don't follow. For a con artist, you're not very devious. Well, for a publisher, you're playing this pretty close to the vest. As long as my brother keeps Jack occupied, we have got a chance to prove your case. Mm -hmm. Because I know how this woman works, but you don't have to take my word for it. Just talk to Tad Martin. He'll be happy to fill you in. Because I understand that the only thing Edmund is interested in is the story. There is no story. All she's doing is dragging my sister's memory through the mud. Nobody is dragging anything through anything, least of all my brother. Says you, who are so newly fond of him, it seems. Jack, whatever my feelings have been for my brother, I have always trusted his integrity. Which is why he sends you to do his dirty work, I guess. Your integrity being somewhat less predictable. That is not why I'm here. So why are you here? Certainly not to defend your kid brother. No, no. I happen to be on your side. I realize that this woman's story has resonance for you and your brother, but she is not. I repeat, not. My sister. All right, all right, Jack. Uh, but that doesn't change what you're going through. Kit Fisher, or whatever her name is, has turned your whole world upside down. You're plunged into memories you'd rather set aside, asked to reconsider every moment of every day since you lost your sister. No wonder you hate her. I don't hate her. And I have no intention of rethinking my entire life. You can't avoid it. The what ifs, the if onlys. It's unavoidable, Jack. I only have one regret, and that is that I listened to her in the first place. <sighs> yeah, right. So do I. I wasn't that lucky. I kept fighting Edmund. I kept fighting the truth. Well, I'm not you. And again, I said, she is not my sister. You'd rather she were dead. That's what you're saying. She is dead. <sighs> All right, Jack, what if you're wrong? My experience. 
If Kit is your sister and you fight her, the only person you'll end up hating is yourself, Jack. The difference is you didn't lose your brother. You didn't even know you had one. Now, I knew my sister. I knew Christina. I loved her with all my heart. And one minute, one minute I was holding on to her. And the next minute she was gone. And I would love, I would love to be able to deny that fact, but I can't. And I have no intention of being part of this fantasy, Dimitri. Do you understand this? Because it's too painful. It is, Jack. To hope, you know, to... It's too much to ask somebody to entertain the possibility when the likelihood is... is zero, Brooke. Zero. Jack, I understand you never found your sister after the storm. No, we never did. And that was in all the papers, and Kit Fisher has admitted to reading those papers. All right, look, I, I'm, I'm just going to cut to the chase here, Jack. You are a trained prosecutor. You look for the facts, you investigate things, right? Taking the DNA test would end this stuff. I think Kit honestly believes that she's your sister. Now, that may or may not be true, but something is driving her. In any event, there is only one way to find out. Well, Brooke, this certainly wasn't what I had in mind when I invited you out for dinner tonight. It's okay, Jack. I hope you will take rain, Jack. You know I will. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Good night, my dear. Good night, Dimitri. Good night. Thank you. In spite of his reaction, I know Jack appreciated what you said to him. You know, I, I can imagine what he's going through. You know, the pain that he felt was buried. I don't know. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I don't think... It matters. I think he... It helped him whether he heard you or not. It just helps to talk to somebody who knows what he's feeling. We'll see. They look awfully good tonight. Oh. I, I, I've, got, I've got to go. Good night. Completely clean. New razor, new toothbrush, new. Oh. One little hair. With enough DNA to provide the map of Jack. If any luck, we'll have a match. Come on. Let me guess. You're here to put the mint on my pillow, and you're here to what? Turn down the bed for? Is that it? You done? Sit down, Jack. I'll explain why we're here. Why don't you just explain it to the judge? You're calling the police? Oh! Oh, you are quick! If you've got a problem with me, fine. Call the cops. But leave Edmund out of this. He's just trying to help. <laughs> hey, Edmund, I've got a great idea for a title for that article you're working on. Why don't you call the Pulitzer Prize-winning author taken in by Colin Grifter? Jack, this was my idea. Well, then obviously the baby sister wannabe is a bad influence on you. She's just looking for the truth. She's trying to find a clue to her identity, a connection to her true family. No, the answer to her identity crisis is not in my hotel room. So what is, huh? What do you got behind your back, little missy? Maybe you'd like to add theft to your rap sheet. Hand it over! Possession of a stolen comb is not a felony. So you're very funny, Ed. So is my DNA you're after, is that it? Oh, sure as hell isn't your greasy kid stuff. Ooh, for somebody about to go way down, you got a smart mouth on you. And you're a horse's ass, but you're still my brother. And if you were a man, I'd not... Hey, 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 hey! You don't want to hit anybody, do you? this become your personal crusade, Edmund? Look, 
I can relate, okay? She does have a legitimate claim. She is Jack. a phony, Edmund. So what's it gonna be, huh? County jail or the county line? Your choice. You wanna get back at me, Jack? Fine, send me to Aunt Dina's. What did you say? Aunt D Dina's? Going to her house was some kind of punishment? Who have you been talking to? I remember I was sitting next to a woman at a piano. She's beautiful. Her hands are small and, and delicate. She, she wears a, an antique garnet ring. She helps me place my fingers on the keys to play my scales. Oh, my hands are sticky from, from eating candy before my lessons. And the woman scolds me and tells me if I don't behave, she's gonna send me to Aunt Dina's. It's my life, it's coming back to me. Get her out of here. From your reaction, I think she could be telling the truth. No, that's she just did her homework, that's all. All right, how'd you know? Well, background check. How did she know about Trey Pretty huh? Grifter? Or maybe, maybe, maybe she's telling the truth and she's starting to remember. It's not possible. My sister's memories died with her, Edmund. Okay, she said she had dreams about a woman playing a piano, some Chopin nocturne. So what? So they're not dreams, they're memories. My mother was an accomplished pianist. She used to have private recitals for her friends. It was common knowledge. But when my sister died, no more recitals. My mother moved the piano into her bedroom and she'd stay in there for hours, sometimes days at a time. See, when Travis and I lost our little sister, we also lost our mother. Maybe this is a chance for you to reclaim part of what you lost. <gasps> Let me try to explain this to you. I've made my peace with this. I've learned to live with this loss. I'm not going back there. I'm not. So you tell your little friend that she can go to hell. We have already been there. <sighs> Jack, she's hurting too, okay? She's hurting too. You reject the possibility she could be your sister. You're hurting both of them. There is no possibility she could be my sister. There is no possibility she could be my sister. My sister would never have become that. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to throw her in jail? Is that going to solve anything? You want to end this. You want to figure it out once and for all. Take the DNA test. Take the DNA test, okay? Just take the test, okay? If she's wrong, if she's lying, I will help you run this woman out of town. But you got to end it once and for all. Oh, I'm going to end it. It ends right here and right now. Because if she comes around me again, if she gets near me again, I'm going to take her down any way I can. You follow? <laughs> <laughs>